What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more scrap mechanics. So today, ooh, today, this is going to be a good one. I am super excited because we picked up a driver's saddle three. We picked up an electric engine three, and we picked up some off-road suspension stuff. So what I want to make out of those is I want to try making a scout bike. Oh, yes, because we use this thing like for scouting stuff and like going around looking at stuff or like going to grab something real quick. And it just uses so much gas and fuel and stuff like that and i don't like it so we are gonna try to make ourselves a scout bike it's gonna be cool it's gonna be fun hopefully you guys enjoy if you do please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more all right so i think what i want to do is i want to make it out of tubes because i think tubes look they just look good you know it look it looks good uh we're gonna grab all these pieces you know we don't know what we're gonna need exactly we'll grab some bearings a suspension um i am Ooh, you know what i think we're gonna make them out of the big wheels those ones do we want to make them out of big wheels or small wheels i think the big wheels would just look so much cooler let's see what we need uh for a couple of those wheels um parts this guy one two. Oh no i'm out of wood oh come on okay we're good we can turn we can turn some scrap into that okay cool so we'll get that guy going um and then let's see the frame wise uh what blocks do i have some like net blocks and mesh blocks how heavy are Ooh, diamond plate would be cool extruded aluminum might be kind of neat too what is uh what's the weight on that weight it's three what is the weight of this three and two net blocks is two we're gonna use extruded aluminum i think it's gonna make it look a little bit neato uh, okay so let's grab some of that first let's get our uh, let's get a little base put in here real quick um we're we gonna make it too wide how big is the seat uh it appears as though it's three okay so we're gonna want it three wide that's fine so we'll do that and then uh we're gonna kind of bring it up i want the tires to be sitting right right about here so with the suspension stuff like that uh i'm hoping this is gonna work i don't know if there's like a balancing mechanism to this game <laughs> i don't oh is it gonna balance oh gosh i have no idea hopefully it does i guess we'll find out all right so how big is this wheel let's see here okay so about that big so we need to bring something up and we need to we need to bring it up and we need to have a suspension come down okay all right all right all right we're uh, we got some juices flowing here all right so this is what i kind of come up with so far um i don't really like the placement of these right now so i'm trying to figure out I would like to put a 45 on here and have this come out 45 degree angle have the front go out at 45 but that'd be we have to put a, a bearing and a logic gate on there and then just to or not a logic gate a controller just to turn it 45 and then if something got broke i'm scared how it would um how it would react if like a bot came up and hit the the controller if it would just like shrink and go back to normal if you will so i think i'm gonna leave it with that for now maybe we'll have to see all right, so I should be able to put one of these on here and I should be able to put this guy on there. Now, it's not centered, but I can't really center it because this is a two block center. So I'd have to make it significantly wider. You know what? Let's just let's just see what it does. OK, all of the I mean, it's sitting up, but <laughs> what happened there? All right, let's try that again. Oof, is it heavy? Well, I mean, we don't have anything set on these guys, though so let's see let's pull up uh what just happened there hmm okay so those aren't connected either you know i'm not actually sure that that one's connected I, I i don't know why but i have the sinking feeling that this side is actually not connected let's see no it's not it's not even connected what the heck why all right i i got it connected but uh it it doesn't sit up very well <laughs> so uh it's a little heavy on one side uh you know it's, i would understand that i might have to actually offset these two tires uh yes yeah, we're gonna have to do all right let's try that oh she's sitting upright all right so rear wheel do we need front wheel drive on this you know i don't know i don't really know let's go ahead and turn it up to like i don't know that bearings efficiency gears we're at level three but we need some battery power do i have any batteries in my inventory uh i do not okay well, let's grab some batteries let's give this guy a test run it's probably not gonna work but hey you know what we gotta try um oh you know what it would help if i connected the seat to the motor yeah there we go all right let's try this guy out oh my god this is the slowest thing i've ever seen in my life uh oh righty then 
<laughs> um, hold on. Maybe a scout bike isn't the best option here. All right. Turning is good. <laughs> There's <just> no way. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> There's no way this is going to work. Because I need it to, like, lean. Um. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I feel like bikes might be super more complicated than I realized. Because you'd have to have, like, like, like controllers and... um all that stuff if you wanted it to lean as you turn so in theory what i would need to do is i would need to turn but as i'm turning i would also need like a bearing on this like center area to also rotate so it would lean it in the direction that it's going my gosh this is not gonna work is it and maybe my center of gravity is too high i don't think we can we can't have it much lower uh yeah no this is this is this is a fail this is a hundred percent a fail also electric engines are no good for vehicles they are too slow. Holy moly, is that thing slow. All right, we got a new design. When in doubt, make a trike. <laughs> Let's see if this works any better. Oh, I'm a little worried. I don't think it's going to, but you know what? Let's just see. Uh, rotation needs to be that way, that way, that way. Uh, steering is good on this guy. Let's go ahead and pop the suspension up a hair more. Like that. And turning is backwards, of course. All right. Oh, it's super heavy, apparently. Hold on. Let's turn the power up a little bit here. Jeez Louise. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Suspension on this one seems off. This one seems... What is this? That's only one tick. Let's drop this to one tick as well. Uh, did I run out of gas? Are you serious? No, I didn't. Why? Oh, there it goes. Hey, we got a scout trike. Oh, it does not turn to save anybody's life, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it does not turn very well at all. Um, you know, hmm. And at slow speeds, it wants to it wants to flip. I mean, it's not that bad. How much gas are we using, though? Ugh. See, the whole point in this is supposed to be using very little fuel. You know what I mean? And this does not seem to be the way. I'm wondering if the big tires are actually not the way to go because it takes a lot to rotate them. Whereas if we had small tires, it doesn't require as much to get going, but this thing would look ridiculous with small tires. All right, so we scrapped the whole bike thing together because it just, it wasn't working. Uh, so we're gonna go with a little quad kind of thing. And I like what we got going here. It's a little bit better. And I actually was able to turn down the engine power, but I think I need to actually move the shocks to the outside instead of like on the inside like it is. Uh, and I think that'll give us a little bit more control. All right, there we go. Basically a spider looking thing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is what it is. It works. It's not going to roll and it should be good. It should be good. I mean, we could in theory go anywhere. Now, is it actually going to get is it actually better on gas is the question though because i don't hmm i don't know it's really weird too when you pull up a tire a big tire weighs less than ow hey you stop that what a jerk and i mean it's fairly quick turning is okay i guess it's not the best thing in the world but it's not the worst and i mean it would let us go pretty much anywhere so uh, you know, we might use this as a scout vehicle. I don't know. I'm not hugely, I'm not super sold on it, to be honest. All right. So, I mean, we're good. We're good with that. That's good enough for scout vehicle. Now, the last thing I want to do in this episode is I want to make an elevator for this place because this place just needs an elevator. It's going to be super basic, super easy. Uh, we're going to be using uh, extruded aluminum or extruded metal. So, if you guys didn't know, uh, I didn't know this until the other day. And I was like, this is amazing. So, you have your standard metal block uh durability weight all that fun stuff one metal block gives you 10 blah 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 but if you turn those metal blocks into extruded metal blocks you lose durability but you lose weight but you gain more it takes five metal to make 10 of these so my base is primarily going to consist of this it's going to be uh it's going to be pretty nice now the the thing we're going to do with this with the elevator is i'm actually going to just make it here on the ground uh, for the most part, let's just go ahead and do this. Make ourselves a nice little platform. I think that'll work. 
That should work. Uh, and then we're gonna make it like a nice little cage and it's just gonna be single piston driven. Um, well, it's probably gonna actually be two pistons because, uh, well, it probably just needs to be two pistons. So let's go ahead and make these real quick. All right, so we got a basic cage like this. Now, how big is this? So it is, so this guy is 13 by 11. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty easy to handle. Let's go ahead and just get this guy over here, like so. And I had to make sure I had a center block. We have to have one single center block and it should be actually be uh, this one right here. So that's where our pistons are actually gonna connect to. But I wanna make it so that way when this guy goes up, it's like, shoop, it goes into a nice floor that we don't have to worry about falling through. So 13 by 11, I just gotta make a little frame up here. Super easy. All right, so we got the cage kind of made up real quick. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and grab some pistons here. I don't know how many I have. I have two right now. I wanted to get three just to make sure we had maximum capabilities for extensions and stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw those guys in. We're gonna do one there. I really like the extruded aluminum. I don't know why, it just looks super snazzy. There, there, there. And you know what? I really want one more piston. Do I have the stuff? I think we might. I think we do indeed. All right, so we're gonna get another piston in there. And then we're gonna basically have it. So it just basically just goes up, goes up and down. Um, but we're gonna put the controls inside of this. That way if we're up here, we can just hit the control. Boop, good to go. Um, all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna weld that point to one of these guys right here. All right, perfect. So there's the third piston. Let's go ahead and grab the center there and put it on here. Um, oh, I have to put on a jack. Oh no, it's not Jack. What is it? Cause I put it right on the ground. Oh no. All right, there we go. <laughs> now I should be able to weld it. Darn it. I can't believe I did that. Yes, I can. All right, so that should be a freestanding thing. I should be able to select that as a weldable thing. Fantastic. So let's go ahead. Let's place our lift down and let's weld this center point right there to that guy. Perfect. Looks phenomenal. Doesn't look like it's kind of sitting right. Oh, shoot. Looks like it's sitting one block off. All right, how does that look now? So let's grab that guy and throw it onto there. Doesn't look like it's sitting right. Hmm. Almost looks like it's sitting off center, doesn't it? Just barely not right. Oh man, I really wanted like a perfect seam for this. I mean, I guess it's uneven the entire way. So, uh, sh sure, that'll work. All right, let's grab a switch. Let's make sure it's functioning first. So what I'm gonna do is basically build a frame around this, but I'm not gonna weld it together. So that way it should in theory go up within it uh, without an issue. All right, so the first one's gonna go down by seven. Uh, let's go ahead and have this one go down by seven as well. And then, oh shoot, can I reach it? Down by seven. Oh, I'm gonna get crushed. Is that maximum extension? Oh shoot, we're gonna need another piston, people. Yep, we're gonna need another piston. Darn it. Oh no, we need another piston. You know what that means? That means it's gonna be off by a block. No. Well, I mean, it could have a little step block in it, I guess. No, cause I want it to be, uh, we'll have to see. We'll just see how it looks. <laughs> we need another one. <laughs> Wasn't this where it was before? Uh, maybe I didn't even add the other one. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm losing it. All right. How's that? Oh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I'd like it to come down two more. Oh, wait, hold on. That piston's not fully extended. How's that? A little bit more. Can we do one more? That would be level. And then retract. Oh, see, it's off by two blocks. You know what, though? That's not the worst thing ever. That is not the worst thing ever. All right, so we're sagging by almost a full block. So my thinking is that we... It works. It works great, actually. And it's like, shwink. Uh-oh, I'm starving. Uh-oh. So I'm thinking that we need to, uh, we need to suck this guy up a block. Now, what would be the best way to do that? Honestly, it'd be, probably be easier to move the whole thing up there. It'd be nice if you could like attach these to each other instead of having to have a block in between. Um, but you know, I understand it. 
I mean, we could always just put a, another block underneath of this, like a like a thing. Ooh, that actually might not be too bad. I need so much more diamond plate. I need more uh, extruded metal, though. And then, of course, we have lights in it, because you got to have lights. You have to have the lights. You can't not not have lights. They're amazing. They make the things light up. And then I did, uh, you know, standard netting floor, because, you know, that's what we need. So um, I want to go through, and I want to do around this whole thing a box, because the idea for my base right now is that this is the starting area but we connect it up over there and up there is really cool it's a nice flat area so i want to kind of expand this out this way and then i want to expand it out this way so that way when we come up the elevator we can either go over here to this or there'll be like a station right here that we can go and do stuff too now i don't know how well it's going to work i might have to put a column right over here for structural support kind of stuff but um, i'm not exactly positive so we're gonna have to play with that in the future all right, so there we go. So that yeah, kind of is what it's gonna look like. We'll put a floor and you know all the way around it, but um, basically it works. We can walk right up here, no problemo. We hit the button, it drops down. We have some amazing lights on here. Now there's only one thing. There's only one more thing that can make this better. I really love how that just sucks right up into this little area. Oh, I love it, I love it. The one thing that can make this better is we're gonna need a sensor. We need a sensor and it's gonna be funny all right we got it we got it it's not that great i, I thought it was gonna be better but you know it works for what it is <laughs> but you know it is what it is so hold on uh you got the elevator right you got your lights it's fancy what do you need when you get to your floor right Ta -da! <laughs> i might have to have like two sensors to make it do the proper note blocks but uh yeah it's pretty funny all righty guys so that's gonna end this episode uh, i want to do a little bit of you know things around the base getting things ready getting things done and um yeah i didn't want to do too much without you guys so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more again we stream over on twitch.tv slash z1 gaming is where we do some grindy bits things like that and kind of play with things uh some things like this so um next episode i don't know what we're gonna be doing but we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing things it's gonna be a good time also uh did you guys want to see how this is made because like it's it's super easy like i figured it out so if you guys want like an in-depth like tutorial ish on how to make this guy let me know and uh, I'll try to get that hooked up. But thank you guys so much for coming out. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.